Hello, I'm Rod Ehrlich, the Chief Technology Officer with Wabash National Corporation. And today I'm proud to announce another innovation, uh, new product that we're bringing to the market. Uh, it's the maximum clearance overhead door system. Features the opening uh, to 110 inches from what used to be 106 inches. Uh, it automatically will lock the door in the open position, which increases the uh, safety. Features an easy adjust winding gear system. Okay, here we are now on the max clearance overhead door. I want to point out the features that we have on it. Uh, most importantly is a change in the header. Um, the other header that we pointed out was seven and a half inches tall. Uh, this one is only three and a half inches tall. Notice that the sill height on either trailer doesn't change. So Mo will go ahead and show you on this, uh, opening this door. Uh, this door operates pretty easy, just like normal. Bear in mind that we're going to lock this door in the open position as soon as it's open. Mo doesn't have to do anything as far as any latches, any mechanism or anything else. It's automatically going to lock in the open position. So go ahead, Mo, open her up. Now from the inside of the trailer here, I can start to point out on how this hinge works. And when we pull it down a little bit, you can see the geometry and what happens on this uh, hinge device. So if you want to pull it down a little bit, Mo, and just show us how it closes. And all that he's doing is pulling down on the handle like an ordinary door. And when he releases it, it goes back up. And the hinge allows the panel to pull up towards the counterbalance and release. So now we want to show you how to adjust this door. As you saw, we don't even have to go on the inside of the trailer to see this because you can adjust the door if you want to tighten it or loosen it either direction. So Mo's going to show you how simple it would be if you take an ordinary ratchet and put it on the end of a crank like he's got here because it, in fact, doesn't even have to be that long. But here he's going to adjust the door by cranking it one way or the other. But in order to do this in the other trailer, it'd take you 15 or 20 minutes with several safety issues of concern. So, that pretty easy, Mo? Yep. Okay, what we have here is the standard uh, double spring um, counterbalance. It's only modified in one way, and that is out there in the middle. Uh, if I can reach out there. Out here in the middle is where the adjuster is setting so that the adjuster now has a shaft going through it and pin so that you uh, wind or unwind the spring by just turning the bolt on the underside of that adjuster. Uh, what we'll do here is have Mo to pull the door up and down so that we can see the feed of the cable as it pays uh, out as it goes up and down. As you watch it pan, I'll go ahead and pull it down, Mo. All the way down. Okay, now bring it back up then. And you see how it pays off of the spool of the idler. and just feeds it right onto the cable. And it goes all the way up. So it's just a relocation of the standard counterbalance that we have in the industry. So in summary, if your application requires an overhead door, you might want to consider these features uh, available as independent or all together. Uh, number one, the 110 inch of the increased opening, maybe you don't require that extra opening. Uh, the other features still apply, such as the automatic locking feature. Um, this feature prevents uh, damage to the door, as well as a very important safety feature in locking that door in the open position. Number three, consider the easy adjustment mechanism, because now this allows for uh, safe and easy adjustment of that counterbalance spring. So all these features are available uh, as options. Uh, simply contact your Wabash National dealer for more information.